what's hanging ladies and gentlemen today I have something that I know a lot of you wanted to see a sniper rifle comparison specifically we'll be looking at the two bolt action rifles the MOA sniper one and the Felix which one is better which one should you choose let's find out now guys, there is a semi-auto sniper rifle, but just for the sake of comparison, we're just going to be covering the two bolt actions. Starting us off is the MOA Sniper 1, and just to keep it easy, I'm just going to call it the MOA, which by the way, means minute of ankle and real life shooting terms. I'll link the article for those who are interested in reading up. Now the MOA will hit for a maximum damage of 75 to the body or a juicy 150 damage to the head, allowing it to be able to one-shot headshot the vast majority of mercenaries except for the likes of Rhino. Now the rate of fire, given that it is a bolt action sniper rifle, is slow. It does come in at 43.9 rounds per minute. However, the reload speed is pretty quick at 1.6 seconds to reload a 6 round magazine. Now I won't get too much into the DPS stats of this weapon as I feel like it's a bit useless of a stat for a weapon like a bolt action sniper rifle. Now, on the other side of the rig, we have the Felix, or Felix, I think it's Felix. Anyways, it will hit for a maximum of 79 damage to the body, doing 158 damage to the head. Now, the rate of fire is even slower than the MOA, but not too much, coming in at 38.5 RPM. Reload time, however, is significantly longer than the MOA, coming in at 2.6 seconds to reload a magazine size of only 5 rounds. So which one is better? Well, let's look at the damage per shot difference, which is only about 4 damage to the body or 8 damage to the head between the MOA and the Felix. So the Felix technically hits harder, but ever so slightly. However, at 79 damage for a body shot, the Felix won't be able to one shot body shot any full health merc anyways. So it seems a little irrelevant when you compare that to the 75 damage of the MOA. Now you have the same kind of thing going on with the headshot damage at 158. I mean the question is will it even matter when the MOA itself does 150 damage for headshot? You know the Felix certainly won't be able to one shot headshot a full health Rhino anyways with the 8 damage increase. As you guys can see I'm a little biased towards the MOA um, and let me tell you guys why. At the cost of slightly higher damage, you are hit with much longer reload time with the Felix. A full second longer. That plus the fact that you're going to have one less bullet in the magazine for the Felix. So not only do you have a long reload, but you'll be reloading relatively more often than you would with the MOA. Now of course the advantages and disadvantages are ultimately up to you to weigh and decide, but that's kind of my opinion. Now there is damage drop off in the game for these sniper rifles, but the damage won't actually start dropping off until 5,000 units for either rifle. That said, there could theoretically be a situation where in that small window, just a few units out from 5,000, you can one-shot headshot a full health fragger with the Felix, where you wouldn't be able to do with the MOA. However, I find those situations so far and few in between, just because of how most engagement ranges for maps and dirty bomb turn out to be. Now for me the extra damage is negligible in my opinion. I find the MOA a much better overall sniper rifle to use than the Felix. Sure the Felix sounds awesome, it looks pretty cool, but that's just not enough for me to say the Felix is a better sniper rifle than the MOA. The crosshairs are also a little different for each sniper rifle so I'll go ahead and show you them here in this uh, side by side comparison and uh, these are more of a personal preference. That said, Felix is a fine sniper rifle to use if you just happen to get it in a nice loadout card or something. Certainly not usable or not unusable by any means and will function fine. But again, like with any other sniper rifle, get very comfortable with using your sidearms to take out targets at closer ranges. Anyways guys, I hope you found this review helpful, this comparison helpful, whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think I should cover next. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content.